Today, we're diving into the world of the most poisonous animals on Earth. From the depths of the ocean to the heart of the rainforest, we'll encounter creatures whose very touch can spell danger. Join me as we explore the intricate mechanisms of these deadly poisons and understand their role in the animal kingdom. Stay tuned to find out which creatures you should definitely avoid and how to appreciate their remarkable adaptations from a safe distance. Our journey into the world of venomous creatures begins in the warm waters of the Indo-Pacific. Here, lurking almost invisibly, is the box jellyfish, a creature whose beauty belies its deadly secret. Its tentacles trailing behind it like fishing lines are armed with millions of tiny harpoon-like structures called nematocysts. Each nematocyst contains a minuscule dose of venom, a cocktail of toxins so potent that it can cause excruciating pain, paralysis, and in some cases death within minutes. The venom attacks the heart, nervous system, and skin cells simultaneously, leading to a swift and agonizing demise. Human encounters with the box jellyfish are often accidental. Its transparent body and pale blue coloration render it practically invisible in the shimmering water. Swimmers may brush past its tentacles unaware of the danger until the venom takes hold. Despite its fearsome reputation, the box jellyfish plays a crucial role in the marine ecosystem. So, while we marvel at its deadly beauty, let us also appreciate its ecological significance and treat it with the caution it deserves. From the ocean depths, we travel to the dense jungles of Southeast Asia, home to the King Cobra, the longest venomous snake in the world. This majestic reptile, adorned with distinctive hood markings, commands respect and fear in equal measure. The King Cobra's venom is a complex cocktail of neurotoxins, primarily affecting the nervous system. A single bite can deliver a massive dose, enough to kill an elephant. In humans, the venom disrupts the communication between nerves and muscles, leading to paralysis, respiratory failure, and eventually death. But, the King Cobra is not an aggressive creature by nature. It prefers to avoid confrontation, often rearing up and spreading its hood as a warning signal. The King Cobra's diet consists primarily of other snakes, earning it the title Ophiophagus, meaning snake eater. The King Cobra, a creature both revered and feared, reminds us of the intricate relationship between humans and the natural world. Our next encounter takes us back to the ocean, to the tide pools and coral reefs of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Here we find a creature that defies expectations, the blue-ringed octopus. Don't be fooled by its diminutive size or striking beauty. This golf ball-sized cephalopod possesses one of the most potent venoms known to man. Its venom, tetrodotoxin, is a neurotoxin 1,200 times more powerful than cyanide. A single bite from a blue-ringed octopus can deliver enough venom to kill 26 adult humans within minutes. The octopus's vibrant blue rings, which pulsate with an eerie luminescence when threatened, serve as a warning to potential predators. Despite its deadly arsenal, the blue-ringed octopus is not an aggressive creature. It prefers to avoid confrontation, using its camouflage abilities to blend seamlessly with its surroundings. The blue-ringed octopus, a master of disguise, highlights the importance of respecting the power of nature, no matter how small the package. Our journey now takes us to the shallow, coastal waters of the Indo-Pacific, where we encounter a master of camouflage and the bearer of excruciating pain, the stonefish. True to its name, the stonefish resembles a lump of rock or coral, blending seamlessly with its surroundings. This remarkable camouflage makes it virtually invisible to unsuspecting prey and, unfortunately, to humans as well. Hidden beneath its unassuming exterior lies a formidable weapon, its dorsal fin spines. These sharp, venomous spines are capable of delivering a painful sting, injecting a complex venom that attacks the nervous system, heart, and muscles. The pain from a stonefish sting is said to be immediate and excruciating, often described as feeling like being hit by a sledgehammer. While the stonefish is not an aggressive creature, its passive hunting strategy and effective camouflage make encounters a real danger. It lies in wait on the seabed, patiently waiting for unsuspecting prey to wander too close. The stonefish, a master of disguise, teaches us to tread carefully in the natural world. We venture into the arid heart of Australia, a land of extremes to encounter the inland taipan, also known as the fierce snake. This unassuming serpent holds the title of possessing the most toxic venom of any land snake. A single bite can kill over 100 adult humans. Its venom is a complex cocktail of neurotoxins, hemotoxins, and myotoxins. Despite its lethal arsenal, the inland taipan is shy and reclusive. 
bites on humans are extremely rare. The inland taipan plays a crucial role in controlling rodent populations. The inland taipan, a creature of extremes, thrives in the harsh Australian outback. We journey to the lush rainforests of Central and South America, home to the vibrantly colored poison dart frogs. These small frogs, adorned with a kaleidoscope of colors, are a sight to behold. But their stunning appearance belies a deadly secret. Their skin is coated with a potent toxin. They accumulate the poison from their diet of ants, beetles, and other small invertebrates. Indigenous tribes use this toxin to coat their blowgun darts for hunting. The poison dart frog's vibrant colors warn predators of its toxicity. Our exploration of venomous creatures takes us back to the ocean, this time to the tropical and subtropical waters around the world, where we encounter the enigmatic puffer fish. This peculiar fish with its ability to inflate its body into a ball several times its normal size, is best known for its deadly secret, tetrodotoxin. This potent neurotoxin, found primarily in the puffer fish's liver, ovaries, and skin, is 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. Tetrodotoxin blocks nerve signals causing paralysis, respiratory failure, and in sufficient doses, death. Despite the risks, puffer fish, or fugu as it is known in Japan, is considered a highly prized delicacy in some cultures. Specially trained chefs, licensed to prepare fugu, must carefully remove the toxic organs, leaving only the edible flesh. The puffer fish, with its deadly toxin and culinary allure, serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between risk and reward. Our journey now takes us to the tropical rainforests of South America, home to a creature as fascinating as it is formidable, the Brazilian wandering spider. This large, hairy spider, known for its aggressive nature and potent venom, is not a creature to be trifled with. Its venom, a complex cocktail of toxins, can cause a range of symptoms, from intense pain and swelling to paralysis, respiratory failure, and even death. One of the most notable effects of the Brazilian wandering spider's venom is priapism, a painful and potentially dangerous condition that can last for several hours. The Brazilian wandering spider is a highly adaptable creature, found in a variety of habitats, from the rainforest floor to human dwellings. It is a nocturnal hunter, preying on insects, small reptiles, and even mice. The Brazilian wandering spider, with its potent venom and unpredictable nature, serves as a reminder of the hidden dangers that lurk in the shadows. We return to the ocean depths, this time to the warm tropical waters around the world, where we encounter a creature as beautiful as it is deadly, the cone snail. Don't be fooled by its slow-moving nature or intricate shell patterns. This seemingly harmless creature possesses a harpoon-like tooth capable of delivering a potent cocktail of toxins. The cone snail's venom, a complex mixture of hundreds of different toxins, is designed to paralyze its prey, which includes fish, worms, and even other cone snails. In humans, a sting from a cone snail can be extremely dangerous, even fatal. The venom can cause a range of symptoms, from localized pain and swelling to paralysis, respiratory failure, and cardiac arrest. There is no antivenom for cone snail stings, making treatment difficult and often ineffective. Despite their deadly nature, cone snails play an important role in the marine ecosystem. The cone snail, a creature of exquisite beauty and deadly precision, reminds us of the hidden wonders and dangers that lie beneath the waves. Our final destination takes us to the arid deserts of North Africa and the Middle East where we encounter a creature as formidable as its environment, the Deathstalker scorpion. This pale yellow scorpion with its slender body and powerful pincers is one of the most dangerous scorpions in the world. Its venom, a potent cocktail of neurotoxins, can cause excruciating pain, fever, convulsions, paralysis, and even death. The Deathstalker scorpion's venom is particularly dangerous to children and the elderly, who are more susceptible to its effects. Despite its fearsome reputation, the Deathstalker scorpion is not an aggressive creature. It will only sting in self-defense, usually if it feels threatened or cornered. Its primary prey consists of insects and other small invertebrates which it hunts at night. The Deathstalker scorpion, a creature of resilience and deadly potential, reminds us of the incredible diversity of life on Earth. As we conclude our journey into the world of the most poisonous animals, it's important to remember that these creatures are not monsters to be feared. They are simply fascinating examples of nature's incredible diversity and adaptation. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content. Stay safe and see you next time.